What happens when the sky itself turns deadly? In June 1783, a fissure in Iceland's Laki volcano erupted with unimaginable force. For eight months, fountains of lava and clouds of toxic gas poured out, blanketing the island in a thick, bluish haze. But the disaster didn't stop at Iceland's shores. The poisonous mist drifted across Europe, dimming the sun and staining the air with a strange sulfurous pall. Crops withered under the weakened sunlight. Livestock dropped dead in alarming numbers. People gasped for breath, plagued by strange illnesses and respiratory problems. In Iceland alone, three quarters of livestock perished and a quarter of the population starved to death in the resulting famine. The haze reached as far as France and England, causing a significant drop in temperatures that led to widespread crop failures and food shortages. Rivers froze during summer months and famine swept across the continent. Even Benjamin Franklin, visiting Paris at the time, remarked on the mysterious dry fog that hung in the air. The Lockheed eruption's global impact was profound, triggering climate chaos, economic hardship, and human suffering for years afterward. Despite its scale, few remember the year the world's weather was ruled by Iceland's volcanic wrath.